local where efforts continue to save restaurants still struggling after pandemic shutdowns and mask mandates. Permanent alcohol to go the latest proposal business owners believe will lift their spirits. Capital correspondent Jamie DeLine looks at whether we'll see it though in the state budget. It's been two years since restaurants had to close their dining rooms to customers, forced to offer takeout only. The state temporarily allowing alcohol to go as a way to help businesses that were struggling. While some sense of normalcy has returned since then, restaurants are still trying to recover. And we're, we're entering year three next week, so um, you know restaurants are still in survival mode. We're still we're still fighting for for um, you know to keep our businesses open, to keep our staff employed. And alcohol to go is, is, is certainly um, one, you know, one leg that, that allows us to stand. The emergency regulation expired in June. Now many restaurant owners are calling for alcohol to go to become a permanent offering, even the governor announcing her support for it. But alcohol to go does have some opposition from those in the liquor store industry, worried it will negatively impact business. We have a 15 month, uh, 15 months of data where restaurants were able to sell to go. And at the same time, liquor stores across New York State were up almost or almost 40 percent concurrently. So there's 15 months of hard data that shows that restaurants can sell alcohol to go and liquor and wine shops can thrive in that environment. Assemblyman Steven Zimbrowitz, who sponsors the legislation, says the amount of alcohol is limited. What we're saying is you have a choice of uh, takeout order with certain number of ounces of alcohol in a, a sealed container, or you can go to, an, uh, to a liquor store and buy a bottle of wine if you want. While Governor Hochul proposes making alcohol to go permanent in the state budget, Assembly Democrats feel this isn't the right place for the legislation. We in the uh, Democratic Assembly have uh, decided that we're going to take policy out of our one house and deal with all those issues after the budget. It's unclear if the Senate will include alcohol to go in its budget. Reporting at the Capitol, I'm Jamie DeLine.